so I have an announcement. <laughs> ah, don't judge my hair if you if you uh, like watch a full video you'll understand why my hair is in the state. But yeah, so your girl. <laughs> I'm excited but nervous at the same time for this um, announcement that I'm going to make now. But your girl is getting... So guys, tomorrow I'll be getting my... She, it's a birthday tomorrow, don't forget, it's my birthday tomorrow, but your girl is getting a big chop. Not a big chop, oh well. Your girl is getting a first diva cut tomorrow, and she's so excited, like, honestly, I'm excited. Diva cut. To be honest, my heart is beating so fast, because if you know me, you know I don't like getting cuts, or hair cuts, and, um... I decided that okay I don't really like the shape of my hair but I want to um, I want to shape my hair and really let it grow out because the person that cut my hair before she cut it into layers and it was honestly my first time getting the layers and I wasn't too happy about the layers as my hair started growing out like I don't like the front of my hair so um yeah, I'm going to Ke to Karen, Karen or Kieran or Karen tomorrow to go get my diva cut. Um, she's the only fight, only qualified um, hairstylist in South Africa, which is, she's based in Johannesburg, that has the qualifications to actually do a diva cut. I'm not sure of the price yet because I didn't ask her. But tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm willing, I'm willing actually to pay any amount. That is like my gift to myself. But yeah, my hair is long because when I stretch it out, it's like, like to by my back, like just like waist length. So I'm a bit nervous, like to get the diva cut. Let me just show you. Ah, it's long. Yeah, so I'm nervous to get the TV cut. There is like a few, sorry, there, there is like a few like pros and cons. She like sent me like, um not pros and cons, I won't say it's a pros and cons. Sorry, I'm still in pajamas, but I am was. I just put on my pajamas again. Um, Yeah, there's like things she told me not to do before um coming to her or coming to see her so i'm not allowed to tie up my hair because otherwise it will stretch out the curl the process is gonna take about three hours yeah three hours because my appointment is at two i'll probably leave just after four so yeah i'm excited but nervous as you can see my hair is long let's stretch it out I'm very nervous but excited because I'll finally have my hair shaped in a proper manner like in a curly hair like cut you know or get that curly hair cut that I always wanted and I think if I get this cut I won't eat, cut my hair anytime soon after this because it's almost a year that it's gonna be a a year that it's gonna be my big shop anniversary but um, it's now 10 months. I still have two months before I can say it's been a year since my big shop. But, um, yeah, I don't. And I haven't cut my hair since last year, December. Like, I didn't cut my ends, nothing. So, it's been 10 months already since um, I last cut my hair. 10 months, yes. It's been 10 months since I last cut my hair. Um, so, yeah, I was planning to cut my ends, but then I decided no. I'm not going to cut my ends. I'm just going to wait until I get my diva cut. Because I know a lot of hair is going to fly. Like, I'm going to be so nervous. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking of washing my hair again tomorrow. Because my hair looks very stretched out. Because if I lay, it just stretches out. 
and I'm gonna go to training now so I'm gonna have to tie my hair up for training but yeah I'm excited um I'm nervous because yeah <laughs> I know my friends know I don't like cutting hair because like I feel like crying so tomorrow when she cuts my hair I think tomorrow immediately when I get there she's going to cut my hair because she did explain the process to me in the message when I messaged her about the diva cut um that she's first gonna cut it in a shape because yeah like a dry cut she's going to do a dry cut yes and then afterwards I'm gonna go to the basin where they'll do the hydration treatment type of thingy then I think I'll sit under like a, a hair dryer, I don't know, hydrator or something, something. But yeah, I'll take a video definitely tomorrow and I'll just explain to you the process and everything, um, how it went. And I'll take some videos also so that you can experience the process with me. Um, my hair do look dry. I know it looks dry now, but I don't have any product. I'm like nothing don't have any product on so yeah um i think of washing it tonight oh in my birthday nails <laughs> did it myself uh so my birthday nails are ready i don't know what i'm gonna wear i was thinking of wearing a dress but i see it's going to rain tomorrow but you know yeah in trobic potch it doesn't rain where it's cold it just rains because it's humid and so forth so I'm not really sure. I think I have an outfit in, in mind. And I'm not sure because I'm always in sport clothing. clothing. So yeah. I'm going to give you guys a hair update. Like I feel like. I feel like. Because Karen, um, Karen told me not to. Um like stretch out my hair and tie up my hair but i feel like i'm doing everything wrong i feel like i'm doing everything she told me not to do so i'm really stressed out but if my hair is stretched um stretch out she will sort it out but it will cost extra oh and she mentioned that a, a priceless starts from 900 rand but yeah I'm, I'm just willing to pay anything for my hair at this moment um because otherwise i'm going to be unhappy with the shape and I really trust Karen because why she said oh many people like curly people go so like the natural hair community always recommend Karen when you asking who can do the diva cut and so forth so I really trust her and I think after getting the cut I'm just gonna focus again on growing my hair out again and healthy and so forth so um yeah this is my big announcement this is my um my my how can i say it's my really my way of saying like yo that i'm not anymore about length that i'm about healthy hair and a shape that is going to suit me and my my face and me as an athlete or so forth um, and also that um, what advice that I give, can give to someone that is about to pick chop is that um, if you want to do the big chop, if you want to do it, like do the cut that you like ready to cut your straight ends off, just find someone that can shape your hair in a good shape that you want it to be. Otherwise, if your hair grows out and you're not happy with the shape, you're going to have to cut it again like i'm not happy with my shape my front day i i hate it so that's why i'm getting my second cut and it's not yet a year that i big chop it's almost a year but yeah i'll still celebrate my big chop anniversary like yeah i'm all for it um it's been a journey and you you saw where i started with my hair and um, where I am now with my hair, like it, in its natural state, it's healthy, healthy um, but still the shape is not where I want it to be. So yeah, I'm going to ask Karen questions like what type of hair type do she think I have? Um, what can I do for my front hair that's breaking? Um, as an athlete, I'm constantly making it to the back or like putting it to the back with Charles. So... I want to stay away from that styles 
and yeah any questions that pops up tomorrow i will ask her i have to tell her that it's gonna be the first time i'm meeting her and i've heard so much about her already so yeah i'm excited for it <laughs> i have to get ready for oh sorry i have to get ready for training now um so yeah see you guys i will give you the update of what's happening tomorrow i'll make videos and yeah i'll probably upload it like the next day first i have to upload a picture on instagram you know to the show of my new diva cut but yeah looking forward to it and yeah don't forget if you want to see my big chop go to my instagram and you follow me so long um go to tams and thomas um subscribe if you want to see the video tomorrow of the process of the diva cut and um yeah i'm excited oh and tomorrow's my birthday yeah if you don't didn't know i'm a twin i have a twin sister i'm the oldest i was born one minute before her so yeah big announcement in bed chilling getting ready for training